Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is day five of our seven day challenge. Today's flow is focused on our core, so we're going to begin on our backs and I'll meet you on your mat. As a reminder, leave me a comment below after you finish today's video and let me know how you liked it. Lying here on your back, go ahead and take the feet about as wide as your mat, bend the knees and let them fall together. Just rest the hands on the stomach here as you start to settle in and notice your breath. We're going to be working our entire core today, and as a reminder, that's not just our abdominal muscles, but basically your entire torso or trunk of the body. Place your hands down on the mat, and keeping the knees bent, we're just going to bring the feet up off the mat and have our shins about parallel with the floor. We're going to alternate lowering one foot to the mat and then the other, keeping that bend in the knee and engaging our abdominals. We don't want the lower back to leave the mat. So if you're having a hard time keeping that low back on the mat, don't touch all the way to the floor. Just lower as far as you can before that lower back starts to come off the mat. Alternating right then left, remembering to breathe here and using that core to stay nice and strong, pressing your back into the mat. Take about eight on each side, just going at your own pace and bring the knees back together and then slowly let those feet come back to the mat and relax the pelvic floor and all of your abdominals. Bring the knees in to give them a hug against your chest. And we're going to massage that lower back against the floor, just wiggling back and forth and then starting to rock, keeping hold of the knees and see if you can come up to a sitting position on the mat and come all the way forward onto the heels, place the feet and rise up to standing. Standing nice and tall at the top of your mat, your hands can come to heart center or your hips. Ground down through the left foot and bring the right knee high on an inhale. Extend the foot out in front of you so that your leg is straightened. And then as we exhale, we're going to slowly lower that foot to the floor as slow as we can, like you're moving through mud until it reaches the floor. Inhale again, bring that right knee high, staying on the same side extend the foot to straighten the leg and then exhale as you slowly bring it to the floor engaging the back and the core our entire trunk one more time on the right side inhale to bring the right knee high extend the leg and then exhale slowly as you can bring it down to the mat Take a moment to go around down through the mat one more time through both feet and then starting with the left leg inhale to bring the knee high extend the leg to straighten and as we exhale slowly resisting gravity bringing it to the mat to meet our other foot inhale as we bring it high extend the leg to straighten Exhale, slowly let the heel lower towards the mat. One more time on this side. Big inhale, summoning all your strength. Extend to straighten, see if you can go slowly all the way down to the floor. Nice and strong, well done. Inhale and take the arms high, gaze to the ceiling and exhale, folding down, relaxing that core. Take a bend in the knees if it feels good. Inhale to a flat back about halfway up and then exhale back down. Step back to your high plank here. Our hands are about as wide as our shoulders. We're back on the balls of the feet, nice and straight line. Come over to the right hand and transfer the weight there and then extend the left hand up to the ceiling for a side plank on the right side. You can take the left foot behind you to support if you need it in this pose. If you're feeling nice and sturdy here, maybe play around with extending the left foot up, rising off the ground. Come back to your high plank, lower through your chaturanga, inhale through up dog, and exhale into our downward facing dog. From here, we're going to do some cheetahs. So, Bringing the right leg high, we're going to bend the knee and bring it forward like we're trying to touch our nose, curving out the spine, engaging that core, 
and then extending back as we inhale exhale to bring the knee forward on the ball of the back foot inhale to extend the leg back through downward facing dog exhale to engage the core and bring the weight forward inhale extend the leg exhale to bring the knee forward nice and strong inhale extend back and then drop that foot back to meet the other on the mat walk the feet up to the top of the mat inhale to halfway lift exhale forward fold and inhale rise all the way up to standing exhale hands to heart center inhale arms to the sky exhale to forward fold inhale to a flat back hands to knees or shins and exhale to fold back down step back to your high plank once more this time transferring weight into the left hand and left foot stacking the hips opening to the side again you can take a supported plank here or open up the legs to test your balance and strength keeping the hips lifted here is the key and then lower that hand back to the mat high plank lower through chaturanga inhale to up dog exhale to downward facing dog this time taking left leg high in our three-legged dog inhale to rise the leg here and then exhale to bring that knee forward transferring the weight over the wrists engaging the core inhale to extend it back through downward dog exhale bringing it forward engaging that core keeping the knee high inhale to extend back behind you exhale coming forward on the ball of that right foot inhale as you let everything extend last time exhale keep the knee high and inhale to extend and lower that foot walk the feet to the hands forward fold inhale to halfway lift exhaling back down and inhaling rising all the way up exhale hands to heart from here we're going to use that core to keep our balance rising up onto the balls of the feet find some balance here it's okay to be wobbly from here keeping the heels lifted we're going to lower the bum towards the heel bending down till our feet and bum come to the floor and then letting that rock us back onto our backs from here again pressing that entire back into the mat lifting the feet towards the sky in this waterfall we're going to rock side to side we want to find the limit here where we have to use our abdominals to bring the feet back to center but we don't want to lose control and let the back release from the mat so kind of finding that fine line for yourself just going right and left back through center using the core to bring the legs back through center and over to the other side taking five or six on each side staying nice and solid and then coming back to center we're going to alternate lowering one heel towards the floor bringing it back to meet the other taking the other side again if your lower back is rising off the mat don't lower the leg as far just find that point where you can still stay strong and then work towards lowering the heels lower and lower keeping the core nice and solid and the back connected to the mat exhale as you bring it up to meet the left inhale as you lower exhale to engage the core a few more nice release the core bring the knees in and give them a hug rotate the knees in circles massaging that lower back into the floor take a few circles each way releasing everything and relaxing the pelvic floor and abdominals well done you've done so much hard work release those knees and find a comfortable resting position thank you so much for joining me today you've worked hard to strengthen those abdominals your back your glutes your pelvic floor you should feel very centered and you deserve a rest i'll see you back here tomorrow for day six we're almost through our challenge. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments. You can be eligible to win one of the prizes. Thanks so much for your support and have a great day.